The Satanic Temple advances many just causes that protect the religious rights of our members. We champion pluralism and have repeatedly taken legal action to assure that Satanists receive the same treatment as members of other faiths. Our ability to practice our beliefs has been aided by the enactment of the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. This law generally prohibits the government from interfering with a person's free exercise of religion, which includes the performance of religious rituals. The Satanic Temple's rituals adhere to our tenets, which value science and assert bodily autonomy. As an expression of our deeply held beliefs, the Satanic Temple has created a religious ritual that involves terminating an unwanted pregnancy during the first trimester. The religious abortion ritual involves the recitation of our third and fifth tenets, along with a personal affirmation during the abortion procedure. The ritual provides spiritual comfort and affirms bodily autonomy and self-worth. The Satanic Temple proudly announces to all of its followers that within the states that have enacted the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, religiously performed abortions are exempt from legal requirements that are not medically necessary. These include waiting periods, being forced to listen to the fetal heartbeat, forced burial or cremation of fetal remains, required reading materials, compulsory counseling, medically unnecessary sonograms, and the requirement that practitioners withhold certain medical information. The Satanic Temple will do all it can to assure that states protect the religious rights of our members to attain first trimester abortions on demand. Thyself is thy master. Hail Satan. Hi, my name is Jane Essex, and I'm the spokesperson for the Satanic Temple's Religious Reproductive Rights Campaign. I'll address some questions here for clarity. First question, how do existing regulations interfere with your Satanic abortion ritual? TST's pregnancy termination ritual is founded on our religious beliefs of bodily autonomy and using the best available science. So you have things like mandatory counseling, being forced to listen to fetal heartbeats, waiting periods before you can even have the abortion, things that serve no medical purpose. All these obstacles violate deeply held beliefs and this disrupts the practice of our ritual. So we're objecting to the regulations that are not actually necessary for the abortion and do not offer better outcomes. So it would be unconstitutional to require a waiting period before receiving Holy Communion. It would be illegal to demand Muslims receive counseling prior to Ramadan. It would be ridiculous to demand that Christians affirm in writing the unscientific assertion that a baptism can cause brain cancer. So we expect the same rights as any other religious organization. So the next question, what does the Hobby Lobby ruling have to do with satanic abortion? Hobby Lobby successfully argued that they didn't have to provide contraception in their health insurance packages to female employees, even though it was mandated in the Affordable Care Act. They claimed that that violated their religious beliefs as a Christian organization. So they successfully argued that their refusal to abide by this requirement was protected by the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, or as I call it, RIFRA. So TST's religious abortion ritual is also protected by RIFRA under the same legal precedent. So Hobby Lobby affirmed that it is unlawful for the government to put a burden on free exercise of religion without a compelling reason. So we're arguing that same claim under that precedent. The next question, how will Satanists request religious exemptions for abortions? When the patient goes into the clinic, our members who want to terminate their pregnancy and who want to perform the ritual will have a letter that we have prepared for them that explains the ritual to the medical staff and requests this exemption from those obligations that are an undue burden to their religious practices. 
just to be clear, we're not claiming that all abortions are satanic and we're not claiming that all Satanists who get pregnant should have or are required to have an abortion. This is strictly for Satanists who have chosen to have an abortion and who want to participate in this abortion ritual. Our next question, will the abortion ritual interfere with a doctor's ability to perform the procedure? In a word, no. Our ritual puts absolutely no significant obligation on the medical staff. The act of reciting the third and fifth tenets and the personal affirmation while looking at one's reflection, it's not going to interfere with a medical or surgical procedure. The intent of the full ritual is to empower and to allow the patient to feel confident in their choice. So moving on to the next question, do you expect the clinics will honor your requests? Now we understand that clinics are gonna be hesitant to grant these exceptions. The clinic staff will probably be concerned because there are regulations, even though the law and the judiciary have made it clear that religious rights prevail in these situations. So they would be violating the law if they don't comply with our request. The next question, what will TST do if a member is denied their religious exemptions? A denial would mean that the clinic is prohibiting that person from performing a religious ritual and the Satanic Temple will intervene to make sure that our members' right to partake in this abortion ritual is granted. So if necessary, we'll take legal action to help the patient in filing a complaint for declaratory judgment, a permanent injunction, as well as an emergency preliminary injunction. The next question, can anyone practice the religious abortion ritual and expect clinics to honor their requests? Not every abortion is satanic. The ritual is meant just for people who identify with the satanic temple's religious beliefs and for people who are sincerely interested in our religious practices. Abortions performed as a part of the satanic temple's abortion ritual are satanic, and that's what makes them exempt from these unnecessary and undue burden regulations. Finally, how do the satanic temple tenets release patients from the obligation to comply with state mandates on abortion. The Satanic Temple's third tenet says, one's body is inviolable and subject to one's own will alone. Our fifth tenet says, beliefs should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world, and one should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit one's beliefs. Any state mandated violation of the third and fifth tenets compromises the abortion ritual by forcing the Satanists to violate their deeply held beliefs, which goes against the Hobby Lobby decision. So medically unnecessary requirement violates our religious practices. Thank you so much for all of your questions. I hope I was able to provide more detail for the ritual. For more information about Satanic abortions, you can visit the satanictemple.com. Thyself is thy master, hail Satan.